Right. Something happened. Oh. Hey! Oh, I, th I think I just got a Centurion Scroll Commission. <laughs> uh, that message just, just popped up. <laughs> Someone got married a Centurion this weekend. <laughs> Wait, hold on. L let me go over there and invite him to the chat window. Let's have fun with Brian, guys. Let's have fun with Brian. Let me go, go grab him and bring him to our chat. Where is he at here? You know. Hey, Pard. If my scroll isn't assigned to someone else and you aren't too backed up, I'd be honored if you created mine. You inspire me to take cartography back up. Huh. Okay. Let me, uh, let me tell him where we're at come and ask me here live right now boop 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 <laughs> on it <laughs> all right brian's going to hang out with us guys like uh Bring a Twitch to you guys one person at a time. <laughs> yes, Eric Lee student who got it this weekend. Yes, indeed. He'll be over here in a minute and chat. So, uh, that cape he got. The one that went over his neck, that was my cape. I don't know if they read the words or not. or I don't know if you could hear any of it in court. I, I don't know the basis of any of what happened. So, um, if you could, like, describe one of you or both of you, Hatties and Culver, um, what was said in court, that would be great. Or if when Brian gets in here, he could say it too. It, it doesn't. Hell, all three of you can. I don't care. I, <laughs> I, I'm curious. I'm genuinely, genuinely curious. And uh, what color are we in? Okay, we're in blue. Let me uh, find this. Bloop. Oh, you brought me the dentist too. Awesome. I wonder if the dentist is with us. All right, that's a nice gray. So we're going to use this gray on our jack and our hair. I honestly had heard very little. Horrible acoustics and very noisy rug. A very noisy rug. <laughs> I don't understand. Oh, children. Loud babies. I got you. I understand. Brian, if you're listening, um, you have to have an account in order to be able to chat. Uh, accounts are free. You have to suffer through a commercial. Uh, follows would be much appreciated doesn't cost anything to follow and you'll be notified whenever i go online if you wanted to hang out and watch the program um we got pretty interesting and varied program on here so if uh if you want to throw us a follow and uh, register on twitch it's uh it's nothing really to uh nothing to worry about let's put it that way you're you, you'll have to suffer a 15 to 30 second commercial whenever you initially start up uh, and then that's that no more after that Unless I plague you with commercials. <laughs> Alright, let's go back to what we were doing. Let me go ahead and drop this down. And go back to what our challenge is. For those of you just joining in, this is an art challenge posted by Yasa Games. And the game is Ica Lunate. And uh, it's a medieval tactical turn-based marginalia strategy game. And uh, I'm going to provide you with the link. To the game itself, uh, I'm excited to be working with these guys. Um, just even if it's fringe, it's still a lot of fun to be working with the crew at Yasa. They're out of Poland. 
There's the link. Uh, please click on it and check out the game and some of the gameplay. And uh, the challenge that they have that they gave the fans was to uh, paint the page. I'll go ahead and scale back and let everybody see the page. There you go. That's what it looks like. <clears throat> hey, bud. How you doing, man? <laughs> Hey, part if my scroll isn't assigned to someone. There you go. Let me see what your name is. B. Murdab. Murdab. B. G. Murdab. Is that how you say that? Okay. Did you throw me a follow? Let me take a look. It doesn't show. I didn't assign one no it didn't so go up to the top where the heart shape is <clears throat> and is, is it okay to call you is it okay to call you by your first name or is it do you want to just be bg murdab <laughs> i'm kind of pushy <laughs> yeah i'm kind of pushy well that way you get notifications when i go live man Hey, uh, so, so David hangs out here, too. He hasn't in, like, a, about a month, but he's come in, like, when I'm playing games or whenever I'm doing artwork. This is my art channel. I have a, I do have a game channel. That's Tug Bobo. And, uh, but, yeah, up at the top, there's that heart-shaped symbol up at the top. Just call you Brian, okay. There's a heart-shaped symbol up at the top. If you click on that, that that's going to give me the follow, and that notifies you whenever I go live. Oh, look at that. I didn't know you guys didn't know one another. I thought y'all did know one another. Good. All right, so back to where we were. I'm going to go with my paint fills. Yes, Brian, I am interested. So I'm filling in the rabbit, or the hair, I should say. Hair is filled in with color. Oh, okay. Yay, family reunion. <laughs> nice. The pigeons of St. John. <laughs> Is that right? Oh, oh, about my art program the other night? Yeah, yeah, that was funny. That's good stuff. Hey, I got a new follower. Big shout out to uh, to Brian McGregor. Thank you for that, brother. <laughs> brother Brian is now a centurion of the Order of the Sable Star of Anstiora, and uh, got a sh uh, nice chic little cape, cape too. Yeah, that cape was a really old cape. Like, did you uh, get the lineage on that? The Pigeons of St. John. Good stuff. <laughs> Alright, so now we got even more color in board here. And uh, we've got our jack and our hair. Getting, They're getting colored out. So, Brian, I went ahead and uh, I played with this some. And, like, that was the first thing I did was to show the different layers. So I did this on the, uh, I did the tunic for the jack. And I, I did multiple layers on it. <clears throat> there we go. That's cleaned up and cleared up. So, Companions of the Order of the Centurion of Sable Star of Anstiora. That right there is Harold Abuse, plain and simple. <laughs> That's right. It is. 
It's not like they're undeserving. <laughs> All right, let me go back to blue. Let me catch the uh, color of blue here. Bloop. All right, and we'll go back to this and color fill. Got that. It's looking more and more like the uh, the game models. Now, granted, the background is a little more parchmenty than uh, what they have. Uh, it's a, a really not the greatest faux parchment effect, but it's something I just grabbed off the internet. I think it's actually a really, really close up. Either a really, really close up image of the follicles of a side of parchment, or it's it's faux. They just did some, they had some overlay embed effect that they used, a dapple to a skin, to an overlay skin, that uh, whoever created the image did that with multiple colors, and then took and like did a raindrop effect or whatever, to marble it. <clears throat> oh yeah? You liked them? Thanks, man. He read them out? Did you get the little chickens? Did you get the chickens? <laughs> the chicken, you know, did you notice it was starting to choke you? That cape wants to choke you. So you got two chickens, those fibula, and you put those on your shoulder right here. And it tied, and you got to sharpen the points on them. They've gotten a little dull. So sharpen the points on those two chicken fibula and put them into your tunic, like pop them through the cape and into the tunic and back out and then lock them down. And I always had them with the chicken heads are facing in. Right? Centurion CLX. You're 160, 160. Centurion Clux. Clux! <laughs> If you hear that? <laughs> oh my god, that's the best. That's epic, man. <laughs> Centurion Clux. <laughs> oh my. Oh, oh. Oh dear. <laughs> so those chickens are perfect. <laughs> Ah, Clux. Oh my god, I'm crying. <laughs> Centurion Clux. Wow. Whoo. <laughs> oh dear. Ah, I'm gonna cry. <laughs> You really are the kicking chicken. <laughs> there, yeah, she's right. They weren't never sharp. So they've kind of like damaged that a little bit. So you need to darn those holes. They're, they're, one of the holes kind of got big on this side. That's why I'm like subconsciously I'm like grabbing for here. One of those holes got pretty big over here. So that needs to be darned up. It's, you know, maybe five stitch darning, six stitch darn. And then take and sharpen the end of those fibulas to pinpoint sharpness. And they'll just they'll poke right through once you get them sharp. They're pretty dull right now. And, uh, and then what they'll do is they'll keep, like, the, those, those strings will they'll choke you, man. And that's a really old garment, so I don't know how strong those strings really are. So, uh, you know, uh... You know, having it going through the fibula, going through your tunic, and you know, it just looks more cape-like and epic, like superhero-like, <laughs> with the chickens. You know, it's that's perfect, man. CLX, that's just that's the best. <laughs> oh man. <clears throat> and congratulations on getting to the quarterfinals in the tournament, by the way. Big kudos to Brian for that, guys. Everybody, give him a hand of applause for. That's an accomplishment. That is a very high-end tournament. That is really, really good, man. 
really good. You should really be proud of that. At, uh, let me see where I'm at here. And also I need to open up another file. It's not showing the stuff, these open windows for some reason. Ah. There we go. Let me minimize that. Let me put that to screen. And so, welcome to my Twitch channel, man. Captain Clux. <laughs> Captain Clux. Ah. <laughs> Dude! <laughs> Captain Clux! Oh my god! <laughs> oh, wow! <laughs> Captain Clux! Woo! That's a good one, man! Holy Christ! <laughs> Captain Clux. Whew. All right. Uh, let me get my composure. <laughs> I know, man. He does. A superhero, Captain Clux. Oh, we can do something with CLX. Have a CLX with a Dirk going through it. <laughs> Your wife's shaking her head. <laughs> I'm sure mine is too. <laughs> I'm sure she's like rolling her eyes. <laughs> Captain Clux. Ah! <laughs> That's good stuff. Woo! What am I doing? I don't even know what I'm doing. I'm laughing so hard, man. Let's get in here. I gotta make some stuff dark. Dark and brooding. <laughs> <laughs> 